Another day in Nice, France. Another sunny day. Ah, so lovely, honestly. Such a nice like juxtaposition uh, in comparison to Beijing, which is cold <laughs> right now. But yeah, you could just like literally just stand here. Ah, très bon. Right now at the train station, got tickets to go for the next adventure tomorrow, which is gonna be in Paris. Ademans, five hour train ride. So yeah, it's gonna give me some time to think, read, and I guess, yeah, <laughs> cool. Um, the adventure continues. I think I just want to walk around because yesterday we did all of the scenic stuff, so yeah. Okay, so I think I stumbled upon like a residential area part of Nice. Um, everything seems to be a lot quieter, a lot of things are closed, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it seems like I'm getting, this is more like of a real authentic taste of like Nice. Like I do like going to tourist places and everything, but I feel like it's not like, you know, the real authentic, you don't really get to see what a lifestyle looks like. And so I'm kind of glad that I'm wandering because I'm literally just walking up and up and up this hill. Um, and it's just like nice to see what it's like, I guess, as an average Nice person, I guess that's the right term. <laughs> So yeah, it's cool and I just like experiencing authentic things. Alright, so it's nighttime now at Nice. I'm by the beach yet again. Um, it's really, I don't know, I'm really obsessed with the beach. I don't know why. I really just like being around it. It's definitely a lot colder, so I put another layer on because, you know, gotta stay warm and I don't wanna get sick. Um, yeah, the lighting's really nice. I don't know. It's a little creepy out here because, like, no one's out here. I'm a little afraid I'm gonna get mugged. Eh, whatever. But yeah, I mean, it's really pretty how things light up. I just really wanted to do some, like, nighttime photography because, I don't know, I guess that's cool, right? But no. Anyways, yeah, I'm just out here right now. Oh, let me talk about earlier, like, what happened after I was, like, you know, walking around. I got really tired, yet again to jet lag. Super tired, and I was like, ugh. So I went back to the Airbnb, kind of relaxed and edited some videos. So, yeah, so maybe I'll throw some, like, montages here. Actually, I'm really nervous about getting mugged. I don't know why. That sounds really bad. But, all right, catching a few. I want to fall for you. I want to fall for you. Alright, who would have thought, in a, uh, I guess, Havana bar, I'm able to watch Super Bowl 52 in East France. 12 o'clock-ish. Somewhere around that time. Yeah, yeah, somewhere. What an incredible. Philadelphia Eagles versus Patriots. Ugh, I hope the Patriots lose. I hope they take an L. I can tell you where. As this guy always says, 
Why are you calling me a guy? As this lovely individual always says, Promote what you love, don't bash what you hate. Growing up when I encountered racism, I always wished it never happened because it made me feel like shit. Now I ask myself, what can I do to make this world a little less like the one I grew up in? And the answer for me at least is to promote the type of world that I want to live in. That means promoting inclusivity, multiculturalism, diversity, freedom, and all that good stuff. 